Welcome to our lecture online. Now we know the format of the three different forms of a linear equation. What we're going to do now is, given the following information, that a line has a slope equal to 2, a y-intercept equal to 4, and those two points on the line, first find the equation y equals mx plus b, and then transform that equation into the other two forms. All right. Well, the first thing is easy. If we're given the slope and the y-intercept, we can plug it right in and write the new equation. So y equals the slope m is equal to 2. So we write 2 times x plus the y-intercept. That's equal to 4. And so we simply write the number 4. So that's easy enough to come up with that equation if we're given the slope and the y-intercept. So y equals 2x plus 4. So now how do we transform that into the general form? Well, notice we want all the x and y terms on the left side. So what we need to do is simply move the 2x to the other side. And so we can write this as minus 2x plus y equals 4. And if we multiply both sides by negative 1, we can write this as 2x minus y equals minus 4. Either, either equation is the appropriate form of the general form. So either a is negative 2, b is 1, and c is 4, or a is 2, b is negative 1, and c is negative 4. It doesn't matter. Either one will ma match that particular form. But now how do we turn that into the point slope form? Well, notice that we need to have the slope, which is given to us, and we need to have one point, y1 and x1, and we can pick either one of these. So let's go ahead and pick one of them and plug that in. Now, you're going to see something very interesting here with the point slope form. So we have y minus y1. So let's go to point 1, and y1 would be 6. That would be minus 6. So y minus 6 is equal to m. Now the slope is given. The slope is equal to 2. So write the number 2 times, now we have x minus x1, in this case x1 is equal to 1. And there we have what we would call the point-slope form of the equation. Now of course we can simplify that and we can move the negative 6 across, so notice that we have y is equal to, multiply this out, we get 2x minus 2 and the negative 6 across becomes plus 6, and so we end up with y is equal to 2x plus 4. And notice that is the very same equation that we had over there. Now let's do it again, but instead of plugging the first point, we'll plug in the second point values. And so we can do that. We can say that y, and instead of minus 6, we'll write minus 8. So y minus 8. And let's use different colors so you can see what we're doing. And that is equal to, now the slope is still going to be 2, slope 2, times x minus, and now we're going to plug in x2, which is 2. Like that. And notice that if we simplify that, so here we have one form of the point-slope form. There we have another form of the point-slope form. But again, if we simplify that, let's see what happens. So we end up with y is equal to 2 times x. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and the negative 8 across becomes plus 8. And if we simplify that, we get y is equal to 2x plus 4. And again, the very same slope y-intercept form that we got before. <gasps> Notice that both of these equations, even though they look different, they're actually the very different equation. So in other words, we actually have an infinite number of equations we can come up with with the point-slope form, as long as we have the slope, which is always going to be the same number for every one of these different forms of the point-slope form. If we use a different point, we get a different equation, at least a different looking equation, but then when we simplify it, we always get the very same equation that looks exactly the same as the slope-intercept form. So notice, all these equations simply look different, but essentially the same equation representing the same line. And that is how we can go from one equation to the other. Hey, Kelvin.